In this video, I'm going to share with you the importance in the tutorial for how to adjust your defense properly in Madden 23. What's going on guys? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free and it just lets you stay up to date with the latest tips that we release here every single day on the channel. Now, I wanted to talk about this a little bit more in depth. This is a quick adjustments guide, and we're just going to walk you through why the importance of quick adjustments and why uh, you should be using them. And then also, we're going to show you how to use them in this in this video. So, um, if you guys want to get any of my ebooks, make sure you check out the Patreon. All of my offensive and defensive ebooks are accessible by becoming a Patreon member. We already have nine offensive and defensive ebooks. The most recent one is our Nickel Over, uh, which is probably the simplest defense in 923 and at the same time one of the more effective defenses as well so again if you want to access all that stuff the link is in the description 10 bucks gets you access to everything so let's take a look at this coverage and let's just take a look at how to adjust so one of the things that makes nickel over so good is the fact that you can do a lot of things with global adjustments what are global adjustments well if we want to globally we'll hit r1 and we could pinch our defense so what you see here is what a pinch defense does is pinch defense basically is going to pinch your defensive line it's going to pinch your linebackers and then it's also going to uh, press your coverage so you see with one adjustment we can do basically three different things and as you can see here, this can give us the, you know, a really simple way to get pressure out of this just by globally blitzing our linebacker. So instead of having to press, pinch your line, pinch your linebackers, blitz this guy, right? You don't have to do that. You can do this a lot faster. And that's what makes um, quick adjustments so important because the name of the game on defense, right? I heard a, a pro player say back when I was just getting into Madden, he said, offense is all about reads and defense is all about adjustments, right? So how can we adjust our coverages? How can we adjust our plays to take away what the opponent is doing? Well, we can't do that if we aren't having very simple ways to be able to adjust properly. So, you know, I can literally go through and I can turn a cover three into a, you know, cover zero man blitz with you know really just a couple of adjustments so we can even do some unique stuff as well before the ball gets snapped so we do something like this and now you can see that we're getting kind of these little switch concepts out of our man coverage scheme so i really like this a lot now uh, global adjustments are super super important so the next thing i want to talk about is the r1 button what is this is defensive keys so this is where you can pass them in now i do want to say real quick why pass coming is actually kind of problematic this year uh, what you're going to see here is I actually am going to pass commit. And you're going to notice that if I try to stop the run, my players will basically run super, super slow. So I'll show it again because my stick was terrible. Um, ah, crap. I didn't run. <laughs> uh, but I'll show, I'll show you the run again. So again, like I was saying, this is just like something that I've kind of found is in this year's game, you got to be kind of careful with pass committing. It literally is almost like weak box. They literally will run slower. They don't get really good sheds in the run game. You'll see now, like, this is going to be a non-pass commit. And you'll notice that they actually react to the run a lot better. And they're able to actually come down and play it. However, the, the kind of problem with that, uh, in my opinion, is let's say that we set up a pressure. And we're going to set it up out of a, let's say we, let's say we set up a pressure real quick. So we do something like this, and then they go with a play action play. Well, we didn't pass commit, so our guys should get sucked inside as they do right there. And it makes play action, I think, really, really powerful. So using the run game in conjunction with play action this year is actually a really, uh, I think, effective strategy. So there's a little bonus tip for you. But again, if you want to adjust your coverages, you want to use the triangle button. And there's a lot you can do, guys. Uh, deep halves out of cover three are actually a lot better than people realize. I want to show you something to the left side of the screen. Uh, so what you'll see is I have my corner and a deep half, and I'm going to put a corner route right out here. This guy will guard. this. Guard, the deep half will kind of guard the corner, um, even though he's in technically a deep half zone, which most of the time is not that good against outbreaking routes so you see here see how he's driving on the corner now if i click on there i might be able to get over there and you know make a play so that is something else with your zones this year you might consider trying some of these deep halves um, another thing that i want to say about kind of the nature of where we're at with the defensive meta and stuff 
a lot of people like to press coverage. I myself like to press coverage, but what I've actually been doing is individually backing them off. And this has actually been making my zones play significantly better. So the way that you do that is you hit triangle or Y on the Xbox. You're gonna hit X to bring up the individual icon. And you're gonna see that it's gonna give us the receivers icons. So on the outside receivers, which in this case circle would be one of them, I can flick my right joystick off and it will back him off. And I can do that on both sides of the screen. Now, why would I wanna do this? A couple things. Number one, it helps a lot with bombs. But number two, I just literally find that they react better. So I'm gonna run that same corner route here and you're gonna see that with him backed off, he's gonna drive on that route pretty good, like pretty good to the outside there. So that is something else that I've been doing a lot recently with you know just different adjustments. Uh, if you wanna crash your line, man, remember you're gonna bring up your line adjustments, you're gonna hit left on the D-pad and then you can slant them any way you want. So let's say that they are, let's say that you're trying to mess with the pressure and you want to slate your line to the running back side and then blitz your slot corner, okay? Um, what you'll see is you do that and now we can create kind of a little bit of an isolation on that edge protector and we're able to, that time he didn't fi finish the pressure obviously with the break sack, but he is able to get the pressure uh, in the first place. So you can do so much with this stuff and this doesn't require you to move your user, which is really, really, really powerful. Um, you really only wanna be moving your user into a gap. Uh, and I wanna talk about that just briefly. This is just kind of a quick tutorial on how to set up your own pressures. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see that the left tackle, if you look by, uh, basically at his feet, you'll see that there's these just these little bars and this is basically resistance bars. And what this is communicating to you as the user is this is the defender that you can occupy. So what you wanna do is you wanna get in position, like let's say I'm occupying this right side or this, this left side guard and this right left side tackle, then I can probably get this blitz off of the right side to be able to come in. So you see I stand here and you see the blitz on the right side is able to come in. See what I'm saying? So you can do this uh, and really kind of craft your defense. Like let's say I want to get it to come off of both sides. Well, I'm gonna need to make sure that I can pick on the center and potentially one of the guards. So I wanna pick on the guard ideally opposite of the running back. That way if the running back blocks, it doesn't help him. So you see, I'm gonna stand about right here. If I stand over here, just one little movement this way, it's gonna completely change the pressure, right? So I wanna stand where I'm supposed to stand right here. And you see we're getting you know two-way heat at the quarterback with very simple adjustments out of nickel over that we all, and we you know teach you how to adjust and how to adjust your coverage behind all this in our ebook on this as well. Uh, and like I said, if you wanna get that, make sure you join the Patreon. But see how good the pressure is uh, from this. So. The beauty of this is, again, I can't stress enough, like the fact that we only have to move our user and then while we, once we get him where we want him, which typically is gonna be in a gap so that we can get pressure, you know, then from there, you know, we can kind of adjust the coverage however we want. So really like, really like that about the game. And uh, you wanna get good at quick adjustments, guys. Like you just, you have to learn this stuff. Uh, if you can get good at quick adjustments, it will literally change, it'll change how you play Madden. Um, because you will be able to come out in one defense and turn it into, you know, two defenses, you know, with something as simple as quick adjustments, you know, something like this, an inverted cover two. And then you see we've got pressure coming off both sides and pretty decent, right? So I just wanted to do another video on quick adjustments, the importance of them and how you can kind of weave all of these things together to create one of the best defenses in the game and if you want to learn how to run one of the best defenses in the game like i said make sure you're in the patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up get you access to all of our ebooks our nickel over ebook i think is one of the easiest not easiest but simplest defenses but at the same time i really believe it's one of the most effective defenses in the game right now so make sure make sure you go over to the patreon the link is down in the description below 10 bucks gets you access to all the ebooks as well as all the updates as long as your membership is active thanks for watching the video and hopefully we'll see you guys over at the patreon page